Hi everybody! Good evening! Ayan! So guys, we're so happy. This is our first ever live session here inside our page, Be Happy. And tonight, I am joined by one of my co-brand ambassadors, Ian De Jesus, who is known as Raven Fox as well. He will be teaching us how to use watercolor and the Arctic pens that we have available at our store. So ito na, i-spotlight na natin pabalik. ang kanyang lamesa. <laughs> oh, by the way, my name is Kate. <laughs> Lagi ko nakakalimutan magpakilala. Magpakilala. Ang dahil nang sinabi ba? Kung nagpakilala. Hi, everyone. Ayan. So, this is Ian, Ian DJ Raven Fox 13. So, if you are uh, following me on YouTube, you probably have seen uh, how, how I did this already. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check my page or you can check sa... Uh, Be Happy uh, group, uh, it's also posted there. I also posted the uh, quick review and first impression of the Be Happy 90 color solid water color set. This contains uh, 50 basic colors here. And then you have the uh, 36 glittery 90. color. Uh-oh. Ah, okay. The Uh -oh. And then you have the four neon colors over here plus an extra water brush for you. So this is actually a complete set for anyone who wants to try it for the first time or for those who just want to uh, jazz up their pages or you just need uh, watercolors to add a little colors to your journals, pages, or project. And also tonight we'll be using the Artline Supreme Fine Pen. All of the things that we'll be using tonight will be available in Be Happy Craft and DIY Supplies store. So if ever meron kayong gustong makikita nyo tonight, nandun lang siya sa store. And of course, the paper stock we'll be using will be the Be Happy Watercolor Pad. It's 20 sheets, 300 GSM. This 300 GSM watercolor has uh, two sides. So one side would have a textured surface like this one. So if you like working with a textured surface, use the uh, the one side. If you're similar to me who prefers things na yung textures would be uh, manipulated and made by yourself. In short, maartika, tas gusto mo ikaw yung gagawa na sarili mong texture, I'll be using the smoother part. So whenever you have a textured and a untextured side of a watercolor paper. Uh, similarity that you would probably uh, see there is that more than often, the cold press side would be more prominent dun sa textured side. And then dun sa inyong smooth side, it would usually behave very similar to hot press watercolors. So just in case uh, you have uh, things like uh, questions, Regarding dun sa gagawin natin tonight, meron kayong mga quick-quick na mga tanong. You can just uh, put it down below. And then, Kate would probably be passing yung, ano. And then, we can answer it while we do this. So, kaya naman natin siyang i-accommodate lahat-lahat. So, don't be shy. If it's your first time doing this, if you haven't used any watercolor at all, tapos marami kayong tanong, okay lang yun. So sometimes, pag wala kayong direct na parang, ay, anong gagawin kong today or tonight? I just want to play with colors. I just want to play with materials. What should I do? Either you use a set of colors. The set of colors that you can use can be based on color harmonies or favorite colors that you know that works. If wala kayong idea about that, of course, you can get the color wheel. Or if you don't like to be super technical about it, What you can do is actually just uh, look at different kinds of things that you already have. Example, meron kang favorite na washi tape. Parang gano'n. So, ah, washi tape. O kaya, meron kang favorite na sticker. Halimbawa, ito siya. Ito. Meron akong sticker dito. Ayan siya. Tapos, favorite may sticker na yan. Tapos nakita mo, ah, ang color na ginamit sa sticker is brown, tapos blue, tapos may pink, tapos may cream. So you can actually begin yung inyong project with that. You can also uh, get inspiration from your favorite clothing, piece of clothing. Ah, itong clothing na to, I like this print. 
Tapos pag nakita niya yung print na yun, ano ba yung kulay that I actually see on that piece of clothing that turns me into, uh, turns my mood into a happier mood. So you can get inspiration from different things. Uh, different food. Example, pag nakita kayo, alam ba, on hamburger. Tapos anong kulay yung nandun sa hamburger that makes you feel na parang gustong-gusto mo siya. So yung kulay ng bun, nung mismong burger, nung cheese, nung uh, gulay. So yun, pwede mo siyang gamitin uh, starting point into your uh, blank page. So what I want you to do exactly right now is to not be afraid of a blank page. Okay na. So one thing that I do before I use pens with watercolor is I check it first. So example, this one. This is a very fine tip pen. I'll just check first kung ano siya, water-based or waterproof. Sometimes hindi kasi nakalagay sa ano. Ayan, so makikita nyo ngayon, when you wet it with uh, water, the ink dissolves completely. So, pwede natin siyang gamitan ng line and wash technique. So, let's try to uh, combine two colors. Example here. This is yung blue. And then, I'll be getting yung teal color over here. Okay. So, so may visibility na pwede natin siyang emerge later with our background. So, pag ganyan yung pen nyo, you can use it both ways. You could either put it before you do the watercolor wash for additional na feel ng sketchy effect. Or you can put everything above, like what we're doing today. We're, we'll be doing both. I just wanted this to dry a little bit. Medyo ano kasi kung mag-watercolor. Basta, ayan. You just need to go to that place again. That place where your creativity has no bounds, no walang rules. Of course, for this uh, session, I want you to break some of the rules that you usually impose on yourself. Minsan kasi yung mga rules na yan sa inyo din daling na parang, ay, dapat walang lalagpas when I draw. Dapat wala akong mali. Dapat lahat tama. Dapat lahat sakto. Pero hindi naman kailangan. All the time ganun. Sometimes you need to let loose of some of those rules. Or sinabi, like example, one rule is never to use black, especially pag ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. But sometimes using black creates a different striking effect. So you don't just abide all of the rules. Sometimes yung idea of art kasi is this. If you're an artist or you're a crafter or you are an enthusiast, you want yung to know yung rules. Bakit? Para after a while, you get to break them all. Oh, It's the manner of breaking those rules that makes it more interesting. Pag binibreak nyo na siya. So ayan, meron na tayong dalawa dito. This is drying a little bit. And then I'll proceed with this one. I'll pause. Minsan, yung papel nyo, kulang siya okay lang yun. So, hihayaan yung lumabas dun sa papel yung drawing nyo. Sometimes, nakaka-problema kasi when you keep yung illustration inside the paper, ang feeling mo nagiging ano siya, cramp, tapos anong nangyari, tumutupi yung mga petals or yung form. O, yun yung isa sa bagay na natutunan ko na, ah, okay lang. Hayaan mo na lumabas sa papel yung form. Okay lang yun. Always, ano, give yourself a good pat on the back na it's okay if it doesn't fit the paper. It's okay if the lines are not as perfect as you wanted. It's okay if the combination of the colors that you thought would be good is not as good as what you thought it would be after doing your experiment. Okay lang yun. If you're uh, doing a project and then you felt na, ay, ang hirap ng project, parang hindi maganda yung kinakalabasan, you're probably on that stage where Ang tawag nila dun sa stage 9 is the ugly stage of something. Sometimes, di ba may ginagawa kayo and then you feel parang hindi siya maganda. Meron talaga yung ganung phase na parang yung gumagawa, na feel niya na hindi maganda yung ginagawa niya. What you want to do is to overcome that phase. Kasi para siyang ano, metamorphosis ng butterfly, you need to just uh, see that phase and then move 
from there for you to get yung kakalabasan ng inyong artwork. A decade ago, most probably, yung mga naiisip mo parang feeling mo, ang hirap niyang gawin, ang hirap niyang execute. Pero recently, ma-realize mo na halos lahat ng naiisip mo, may possibility na pwede siyang i-execute exactly on how you want it to be. Kasi meron na nga yung mga bagong tools sa technology So I just shifted from another think pen. So in this case, this one, I'll be using two colors for this one para makita nyo what will happen pag yung lines, kunyari, nabore kayo na, ay, yung lines ko, ayoko ng puro pink. So haluan natin siya ng teal. So may pink, as may teal. So, ano yung mangyayari pag ganun? Okay pa rin ba siya? Pag chinek mo, ay, parang kulang pag isang petal lang. So you also do it dun sa isang petal, di ba? So just ko talaga sa inyo, when you have new art materials, new craft supplies, just try to explore yung material. Bumili kayo ng example, ito, 90 colors na watercolor. Try to use yung 90 colors. Di ba? Kasi, sayang pag din ginamit. Pag, syempre, yung 90 colors, hindi naman lahat yung favorite color nyo. So try to sometimes challenge yourself to use the colors that you don't use often. Or try to use yung colors na hindi mo favorite. Baka mamaya after a while, it would bring something even better than what you expected. So, we have now here uh, almost uh, three-fourths of the page filled. So, na-realize ko, mas maganda pala yung stroke ko pag itong brush na yung gamit ko. So, if you're uh, watching right now, marirealize mo na parang minsan kasi yung, ang nangyayari kasi sa atin, if you're using a medium, ba, watercolor, unang gamit mo sa kanya, I turn off ako kasi parang hindi siya for me. Ganun yung ibang nafe-feel ng iba. So, ayan muna. After this, I'll just be using uh, ano naman, magenta naman to tickle the lines. So, ang nangyari sa akin, ang unang gamit ko nung synthetic brush, na-realize ko na yun yung brush for me. Na pag nag-synthetic ako, sumusunod yung linya, like this, this one. Kaya pag pinagamit nyo ako ng synthetic ng mga anong brush dati, yung mga base sa uh, bamboo things, hindi ko talaga siya ma- ano, ma- maintindihan. <laughs> Tapos nung gumamit ako ng synthetic brush, everything went so good. Nakakapag-details ako. I do this and that. Tapos recently, ito nga, nung nagkaroon na ng mga bagong brands na lumabas, na-realize mo na, halimbawa, ito, this one, di ba? This beautiful magenta, wala namang ganyan dating watercolor na available. Na ganyan ka-bright, saka ganyan ka-vibrant. Kahit konti lang ilagay mo, it would look like that. Same with the beautiful yellows and browns and greens na before, akala mo, hindi mo lang siya ma-mix. Yung pala, meron palang nag exist talaga na brands with better pigments saka better colors. Hindi mo lang siya nakilala that time. So yun din. Minsan, meeting yung tamang match ng art supplies or crafts would really help. But yeah, so basically, this is how you create. You just start. And dapat talaga, you start with an open mind kasi hindi nyo alam. Kagaya nito, hindi ko akalain na ganito yung magagawa ko. <laughs> That's really kasi, nice. O, oh, ba? Yung ano lang, i-overcome lang yung fear na mag-start. Yes. Yun talaga. Yun ang number one. So, having said that, once again, we are very thankful for you joining us this sat- Saturday evening. Oo, oh, Saturday evening. Ay, ay, nagkwentuhan at nag-create ng something out of nothing together with of course Raven Fox Ian De Jesus magkita-kita po tayo ulit sa next session natin here sa Be Happy willing na willing po kami bigyan pa kayo ng maraming ideas how you can maximize everything that you're buying from our shop and sana ma- na-enjoy nyo po ang session na to and we've earned the privilege of your time we'll see you again next time here at your favorite local crafting shop. So, once again, ito na siya. Ah, meron din ako matapos. <laughs> so, bye guys. If bye everyone. Just comment and join us. See you us. again. Bye.